Now let's add two vectors that um, don't make right angles. Again, you do them head to tail. And you label them as such. We're adding a 3 newton and a 5 newton. And we need to use, first of all, the law of the cosines to find this resultant. So let's see how we would do that. The law of the cosines. The law of the cosines is c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos theta. And you will need the law of the sines. And these should be written on a card right beside you all the time. So using the law of the cosines, let's label our, um, our triangle here and see what we have. This was side 3 and this was side 5. And uh, that will be C. And now we have 30 degrees here. So our question is, what is the angle C, big angle C right here? That's what we have to use in our equation. Well, you know, it's pretty obvious. 180 minus 30 will give us the answer. Um, I hope you understand why that works. If not, you can ask your math teacher because uh, it's pretty basic. And so you can do it in your head. 180 minus 30 is 150 degrees. So now we can put all of this through that equation. And uh, I would suggest you hit pause and try it first. So c squared is 3 squared plus b would be 5, so 5 squared minus uh, 2 times 3 times 5 times the cos of 150. And make sure you know how to use your calculator and put all of this through your calculator. And remember to take the square root. A lot of people forget to do that. <laughs> and you get an answer. And here it is. 7.7447 7, uh, 7, 4, 4, uh, 7, and that would be Newtons. Now you'll need the complete number. We'll use it later. But if someone said, what side C? You'd say, oh, 7.7 7 Newtons. Everything would be say, two significant figures in this. Now we need to find the angle that that makes with the uh, x-axis. What is that angle? And again, you're going to use the law of the sines. And you need to have that written beside you. So that's 150 degrees, we know. Uh, this is 3, and we're in two sig figs, 3.0, actually. And there's 5. And now, from the law of the cosines, we found that that side is 7.7447. And notice I'm not using the rounded off number. I won't use that when I do the calculation. I need to find angle theta. So I know that a over sine a, and this would be 5 over sine theta. There's my unknown. Now I need something that has both the side and the angle. And I'll use the 7.7447 divided by the sine of 150. And now you put that through your calculator. And you will get good at this after a while. And what you should find is that the theta will equal uh, 19 degrees. Now, one mistake is make sure your calculator is not in radians. I've seen students do a whole test and get every answer wrong because it was in radians. So the force is 7.7 .7 newtons. That theta is 19 degrees.